Hi guys, this is Zishan here back again with another exciting nursing news today. Um, this is for those who are graduating from the European nations, including Hungary or any other European Union country, um, and want to register with Nursing and Midwifery Council of the UK. So they want to work in the UK as a nurse. This is a great news for you guys including those who don't hold the citizenship of European Union. If you remember, I have been processing my NMC's application since last year, and I was told to do the test of competence, which includes CBT and OSCE exams, even though I hold European qualifications since I graduated from Hungary. But because I didn't hold European citizenship, I wasn't endorsed with my qualifications right away. So just because of my citizenship, NMC UK had told me to take test of competence, just like those who come from uh, other nations than the European Union. Doesn't matter if I graduated from Europe or I graduated from, I don't know, back home Pakistan. Same standard applied to me as another Pakistani nurses or if you are from Nigeria because I have many many friends from Nigeria and they had the same stories that uh, I mean same procedure that I went through uh, we had to take CBT exam and we had to take OSCE exam uh, even though our qualifications are recognized Europe-wide but it has changed very recently and I'm gonna show you what has changed so when you come to this link nmc.org.uk and click on registration and go all the way down to joining the register here you will click on register as nurse or midwife since I assume your qualification is BSc nursing or BSc midwifery then you would choose trained outside the UK since you trained in the Europe and here applications started after here we will click check if you are ready to register and we can see take the test of competence and here let's learn more about the test of competence and here you can click a guide to test of competence and this is the uh, breaking news which says who needs to take the test of competence Applying for initial registration, new regulations passed by the UK government following the UK's departure from the Europe allow for certain EU general nursing and midwifery qualifications to be recognized until the end of 2022. So these qualifications have always been recognized by the UK, but there is some exception now because uh, these were recognized only for European citizens or those who have been married with the European citizens. But now it says if you have a relevant European qualification that meets the requirements for automatic recognition, you will recognize your qualification and you won't need to take the test of competence. Imagine you'll be saving um, about 1000 uh, pounds because CBT exam can cost you anywhere between 90 pounds and then uh, OSCE exam will cost you about 800 pounds and of course there are many many other expenses including visas and traveling to the destinations or the test centers booking an accommodation a night before eating and all that burden is now gone for those who are graduating from Europe and do not hold European citizenship if you are European citizen then uh, you already had automatic recognition and you will continue to have it probably even after the end of 2022 this rule applies if you are non-European citizen and you have graduated or will graduate up until 2022 from an EU state or EU member state so congratulations for that and it says this applies even if you are not an EU national right but you have a relevant European qualification and this has always been a problem in my own case because I wasn't an EU national 
I had to go through whole um let me show you what i mean i had to go through like um a lot of exams <laughs> here you see my uh, nmc's application portal so i applied then my first step was to eligibility and qualification that i completed in preparation this was the second step when uh, hungarian nursing council or okfo so called okfo or previously known as AEEK um, accepted and they kind of verified me I completed my application I made the payment for the NMC then third party verification this is where OKFO in Hungary they verified my license up until then I already paid 140 pounds then my qualification regulator verification was received to NMC from Hungary then I was evaluated and they then gave me the test of competence. They told me to um, go ahead and do my CBT that I paid about 100 pounds. Then I uh, took my visa to the UK. I Since I applied for two years visa, so it costed me about 450 pounds. Then I went ahead and took my OSCE. I paid 800 pounds. I failed it and then I retook the exam and I paid 50% of the fee because I didn't fail more than four stations. Luckily, so I had to pay only 50% which was still a lot of money so imagine I paid 400 pounds again for the OSCE so 1200 pounds it costed me to take my OSCE successfully 100 pounds for CBT then again I paid about um, 150 pounds here I think then yeah I completed the application and I took IELTS Imagine my story has been really, really long. I took IELTS about five times and I recently passed it. Then I made another payment for, I think 150. So like two, three payments, uh, maybe I'm just messing it up, but still it was a lot of money. And then I recently did my medical practitioner verification. Um, NMC reached out to my GP in, um, and then they um, verified that I'm in good health status. And then again, this is the same thing that they received from here. It just uh, duplicates again. Now my application is under assessment and I hope to receive my license within two to three weeks. So you see how long has it been for me to complete and reach until this station. It's been a year that I've been trying to pass all these uh, stages yes you do need english language exam because it is still uk but imagine you can skip these two big milestones that you don't have to achieve anymore so yeah i think if you are graduating uh from now on until december 2020 you are in luck and i wish you the best i hope it will be helpful um, that I shared this news to you and you can also actually come back here on this link and you can click on the list of qualifications that are recognized by the UK and you can see there are so many countries Austria Belgium um, they literally are telling that when the qualification was recognized and when was the reference date and what's the title of uh, nursing qualification that meets the automatic recognition and if you are a midwife then these are your titles since i graduated from hungary so let me go ahead and show you um, what hungarian qualifications are recognized so it says the country's name and here it says um, Hungary was recognized uh, as an automatic recognition register since 1st May 2004 and these are three level of nursing that uh, the, the UK can recognize so Apollo Bizonitvány, Apollo Oklavel and Oklavelesh, uh, Levelesh Apollo Oklavel. So yeah I think it's the specialist nurse or vocational nurse this one is bachelor's nurse and probably this one is vocational again or um, uh, yeah one of those so um, this is what Hungary Hungarian education or recognized qualifications look like and yeah you can also see all other kind of qualifications if you graduated from other countries than Hungary so let me just 
quickly walk you through. I'll also put the links in the description. Uh, you probably know how to reach here, but still if you want to quickly have a look, I'll put this link as well as um, the link directly to this page. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it will be helpful for you. If you can be helped with this, please let me know. If you have any questions, put down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Share it with somebody who you think can be helped, somebody who is graduating from Europe and they want to go to UK uh, to work there as a nurse. And I think this is the golden time to apply. Uh, make sure um, you graduate before this time. Well, even if you don't graduate before this time, I would still highly recommend saving this link um, or keep in touch with NMC's website. It might, uh, you know, get extended. Probably they will continue to do so even after 2022. But this is the breaking news um, I wanted to share. I hope it was inspirational and has given you some motivation to graduate nursing school. Yes, I can totally relate. Nursing school is not any easier. Um, so yeah, by sharing this news, I feel like I've given you some motivation and hope you feel a little bit more closer to your career goals and feel a little bit more stronger <laughs> to graduate even after 22 because things might change at any time this news was also very unexpected and as you know it has come out very recently and hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one take care and bye bye